There was, a, there was an odor uh, that was really strong. It could be a stinky situation, but not in this locker room. The unusual way one school has found to keep things fresh. High school locker rooms can be breeding grounds for bacteria, mold, mildew, and odor. But one Berks County high school has found a new way to fight it. And it credits it with reducing the number of staph infections among football players. News 8's Susan Shapiro has more. Wilson High School is having a winning season on the field. And a healthy season off the field. School officials credit a new sanitizing system being used in the locker room. It's helping us keep our athletes um, healthy and on the field. Once it's activated, the gas is released. Morena places the sachets in the drop ceiling. Fans keep the air moving in the locker room. Morena then uses a meter to check the level of chlorine dioxide. Low concentrations of the gas will be released for 30 days. The locker room can be left as is during treatment. The gas will permeate into all crevices and even through fabric. So, for instance, it'll go through this jersey and into the shoulder pads. And if we were having someone come in and put a coating on or having the custodians wash it down, they wouldn't get to the equipment. They would only get to the hard surfaces. Three years ago, there were 10 cases of MRSA, a drug-resistant staph infection among Wilson football players. This year, there have been none. The results have shown significant bacteria reduction. There is another advantage. This locker room no longer smells like a locker room. Even the players have noticed. Uh, it's a little cleaner than usual, and it smells a lot better. What did it smell like before? Uh, really bad. In Berks County, Susan Shapiro, News 8.